Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, I wanted to talk about appraisals today, what they mean and what they don't mean, and what, what you have to be careful of with an appraisal. Um, so an appraisal is nothing more than somebody's estimate of value. It's no different than a real estate agent's estimate of value when they come to a listing appointment. Um, if you took 10 appraisers and had them all appraise a property, they would all come up with different values. There's nothing that, like, it's not a government certified seal of value or anything. It's just an estimate. And where they're really used predominantly is in loans. Lenders require appraisals as a third look at the property, but, but except for the, you know, the buyer and the seller get together and agree on a price, but they're giving a loan. So they want to just make sure they're not over lending or being scammed some sort of fraud. So, you know, this is why this is important to know because. Let's say you're buying house cash. You're probably not going to get an appraisal. Why? It's because you're paying $350 to $500. Um, it doesn't really matter. You're paying cash for it. There's no other loan. You've probably done your due diligence. And what if the appraisal comes out low? Are you going to like ask for less money? The seller's probably going to say, you know, have a nice day, which is for what happens very commonly on a cash purchase. Cash purchases usually are, are a little bit below market value. Uh, they can be. So that's that can another reason why you don't. Most people with cash don't get appraisals. The other thing to keep in mind is that appraisal, for FHA purposes, sticks with the property for 90 days. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say that you are the house is 100 grand, and you have an offer on it for 100 thousand dollars. Your appraiser comes out and says it's only worth 97 thousand dollars, and you're the seller, and that person who's buying the house for the 100 thousand dollars is getting a loan, and they can't now get a loan unless they do one of two things: either a we change the purchase price to $97,000, or B, they come up with the difference, meaning they're only going to loan based on the $97,000 value, so that you can still have the buyer come in with the difference in cash, which is what happens very uh, common. But what happens if, let's say you throw the buyer out and say, forget it, and you go and you put the house back on the market and get another buyer. Well, if they get an FHA loan, when the appraiser goes into the appraisal, they're going to see that it's already had an appraisal. For 90 days, they can't do another appraisal on it. So you're going to be stuck with that appraisal for the most part. So there's some risk in there on the seller. Um, and there's also some risk on the buyer. The risk on the buyer is that you're, you know, you found the house that you can't wait to move into. You just have enough money to pay for closing costs and get out of the deal uh, without, you know, any money left over. And it doesn't appraise. And then the seller comes back and says, I want you to pay the difference. Um, it doesn't make sense to me that a house could be listed for one amount, get 10 offers, many of them over that amount, and then have it not appraise. Because what happens is the appraisers don't care about that. They don't care how many offers. All they look at is what's it listed for, and they look at the other houses around it. A lot of times, if it's a lot nicer, if it's got a bigger lot, they can make adjustments, but a lot of times they won't make big enough adjustments for that. Sort of like the wow factor. So it's very common that we see houses not appraised. I would say about a third uh, to half of all the properties we have with loans don't get a good appraisal on them where they appraise for the value. That's actually good. What that means is the market's going up. What that shows is the appraisers looking historically at the last three or four months at what homes sold for. But if they start to sell for more, the appraisers are going to look back and go, well, no, it's only worth this. So um, this was very common back in 2004 when the market was really taking off. Appraisers we had a hard time getting appraisals on properties. We're starting to see it again, so maybe it's a good sign. But I thought I would share that with you, You know what the appraisal is, how it plays in, whether you're the buyer, whether you're the seller. The bottom line is you always have room to negotiate after you get an appraisal between the seller and the buyer. Come to some terms. Sometimes they'll reduce the price. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll come halfway and make you come in with the difference. So, you know, best thing you can do and what we do is just we negotiate it out. We either come to an agreement and move forward or we just have to end up killing the deal. Uh, so I thought I would share that with you. That is my update for today and hope to see you on another video. Thanks.